every Rainbow Magic Book Club member. And happy Valentine's Day! Today is Tuesday the 14th of February 2023, which means it's Valentine's Day. And today, I just had to show Juliet the Valentine Fairy with exclusive stickers for Tesco. Hmm. Looks like this book came with stickers because there's a Rainbow Magic sticker. Juliet the Valentine Fairy by Daisy Meadows. Special thanks to Kirsten Earhart. Earhart. Sorry, I had that wrong. And here is the map. The Fairyland Palace. Juliet's Cottage Jack Frost Ice Castle. Town Square. Weatherby Village. The florist, which is where flowers are made. Well, that's where the people sell the flowers. Greenhouse, Playhouse Theatre, Village Hall, Kirsty's House. So, yep, this is the map of Weatherbury and also the Fairyland Palace, Juliet's Cottage, and Jack Cross Ice Castle. Let's have a look at the back of the book, but before we do that, look how shimmery. These red stars are, I mean, these red hearts are, these red hearts in circles are so pretty. So, it says here, Rainbow Magic, three stories in one. Juliet, the Valentine Fairy, fills this special time of year with fun and happiness for everyone. But when her three magical objects are stolen, families start arguing, sweethearts fall out of love, and even best friends fight. Can Rachel and Kirsty help Juliet before both Valentine's Day and their friendship are ruined forever? That is not good. There is a card, a rose, and a box of chocolate hearts inside. Collect them all and help bring back the magic to Valentine's Day. And look, this book was made in 2010! Wow, that was 13 years ago. So I would have been seven. And this book is £5.99 and it's for ages 5 plus. So let's have a look at the inside of the book. So let's read Jack Frost's spell. It's Valentine's Day and love is everywhere. But I, Jack Frost, feel it isn't fair. Friends and family and sweethearts too. I've got a mean surprise for you. This day is no longer nice. If you celebrate, you will pay the price. Giving cards and gifts is a big mistake. These things will cause your heart to break. Card making mishap. So we are going to read a few pages from the first chapter. So we're not reading the whole book or even a whole chapter. I'm just showing you this book because it's Valentine's Day. Content. A Weekend Guest, which is page 11. Valentine's Workshop, which is page 19. Juliet's Story, which is page 29. No Good Goblins, is page 39. A Simple Swap, is page 51. A Weekend Guest. Kirsty Tate paced the front hall to the kitchen and back again. Pulling aside the curtain, she looked out of the window. There was still no sign of her best friend, Rachel Walker. Kirsty glanced at the grandfather clock in the corner. The Valentine's workshop would have already started. She hoped her friend wouldn't be much longer or they would miss it. Anxiously, Kirsty stared out of the window, hoping the walker's car would magically appear. But she knew that couldn't just make it happen. The truth was, she and Rachel knew a lot about magic. They had learned about it from their friends, the Rainbow Magic Fairies. The two girls had first met on a trip to Rainbow Island when they had helped the seven Rainbow Fairies who had been sent away from Fairyland by wicked Jack Frost. The King and Queen of Fairyland had come to rely on the girls whenever Jack Frost and his goblins were causing trouble. Kirsty felt happy thinking about her fairy friends and even happier when she saw Rachel's car turning into the road. As it pulled into the Tate's driveway, Rachel waved cheerfully to Kirsty, who hurried out to help her friend's bag. 
you must become you must come from a cup of tea Kirsty's mum had appeared at the door to speak to rachel's mother i'd love to smiled mrs walker i'm so glad you're here Kirsty said hugging her best friend i was starting to worry we'll just put your bag in my room and go straight to the village hall okay so that's all i'm reading from the book so far i just need to show you something look there's a letter e why is there a letter e in the book well what used to happen in the rainbow magic books it usually would happen in like the three stories in one but sometimes in the actual series books the Ringo Magic Fairies would have different, like, shapes. With Juliet, it's obviously going to be hearts, and there'd be a letter. So once you found all the letters in the heart throughout the book, you'd unscramble the letters to find a magical word. So let's see if the inside of the book explains about that. Oh, here are the stickers! Oh, I see them! Oh, look! There's hearts. Roses, love hearts, and it looks like I've used most of them. And that's obviously a Juliet the Valentine sticker. And it looks like I've cut a bit out. But yeah, these are the stickers. Wow. But yeah, win rainbow magic goodies. There are seven hearts in Juliet the Valentine's fairy, and everyone has a secret letter in it. Find all seven letters and rearrange them to make a special fairyland word. Then send it to us. Each month we'll put the entries into a draw. And select to win a to receive a Rainbow Magic sparkly t-shirt and goodie bag. So yeah, that's what quite a lot of the Rainbow Magic fairy books used to do. Where there'd be like hidden letters throughout the story. And you'd have to find all of them and scramble the word. And then you'd send in your answer to the Rainbow Magic. Like to Rainbow Magic. Which sounds really, really cool. So yeah, here is Juliet the Valentine's fairy. And also look at her cute love heart bracelet so cute so i hope you guys enjoyed me reading just a little bit of juliet the valentine's fairy and i hope you guys have a happy happy valentine's day bye